Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we're out in the workshop because I want to share with you a cheap and easy solution for automatically turning on your shop vac when you turn on your table saw or any other corded power tool which you need dust collection for. Uh, in my workshop here, I just have the table saw hooked up to the shop vac, and I would have to turn them both on separately not really the end of the world, but um, having a automatic vacuum switch is so much more convenient. Uh, you can buy them for about $35 to $55 on Amazon. I'll leave a link to some of them in the description. I don't have any experience with them, but I'm sure they work fine. I just wanted to find a uh, cheaper solution. So what I found is an $11 uh, power strip. It's meant for like entertainment centers and things like that, but it works in this application just as well. It's rated for 15 amps, just like the uh, dedicated vacuum auto switches. So I will show you uh, the box here in a moment, and I'll also show you how I have it set up. All right, so here is a quick look at the package. Uh, it is bits limited smart strip energy saving surge protector so what you do is you hook up the control to this here so the table saw is hooked up to this then you have two outlets that are always powered and then these four will be controlled by whatever you plug into here when you turn it on and off now this is rated for 15 amps Uh, this is for the storage protector, but I really am not using it for that purpose, but it's nice to have. And it has a delay of response time of one nanosecond. So when I turn on the table saw, you'll see the vacuum will turn on uh, almost instantaneously. And not really sure what the rest of this stuff on here means. Um, but here, this is the intended purpose with either your computer or your TV. It'll turn on your... DVD player, monitor, uh, whatever else you uh, want to use it for. In this case, I'm using it for uh, dust collection for my table saw. So anyway, there's the package. And I will go ahead and pause the video and show you how I have it set up. Uh, it just kind of a temporarily set up right, temporary setup right now. And I'll eventually get it all mounted up nice and neat and um, well, I'll show you that in, in just a second here. All right, so this is the heart. I think it's a five gallon or six gallon shop vac that I just bought uh, about a month ago for 30 bucks. I was using this big, uh, actually I bought this for $50 two years ago, Black Friday, my 16 gallon rigid shop vac. But I just wanted something small and simple I could leave hooked up to the dust collection all the time. And over there I have my dust topper with the, actually this is from my first rigid shop vac, which I killed by uh, using it as a dust collector. The filter got all clogged up and uh, I smoked that one. But using the hose from that, I need to find a shorter hose. This is all just wound up in here. Uh, but anyway, the point of the video is this surge protector, um, auto start power strip right here so I'll probably eventually mount it to this table here but you can see I have the table saw plugged in here and then the shop bag is plugged in here actually let me turn off the table saw I don't know if either of those two lights will turn off or not but I'll show you my table saw real quick I have this previous version of the saw stop job site saw I bought it it was kind of on clearance. It was $300 off. Um, so anyway, it's a little bit different from your typical table saw. You have to turn the power on to the table saw. And then there's the, the blade uh, on off button there, on off switch. So I know both of those lights are still on. So let's turn this table saw back on. And you'll see that just by turning that on, it does not turn on the shop back. Okay, so we're green, ready to go. And I just taped uh, this on here so you would see the shop vac is actually running. So let's turn on the shop vac. Hopefully, sorry, let's turn on the table saw. 
Hopefully this microphone will make it so it's not quite as loud. So if your volume's up, you might want to turn it down. Sorry about the noise. So you can see this actually does have a little bit of a delay to shutting off the vacuum, but it's not a seven to 10 second delay. Um, let me turn the, shot, the table saw back on real quick and then I'll turn it off and just pay attention to that piece of paper there and see how long it stays um, outward for. So let's turn the, shop, the uh, table saw back on again. So that's maybe three or four seconds that ShopVac is still running for. And uh, you could use this for a sander, circular saw, whatever you have with dust collection, uh, you could use this for. All right, so I'm going to pause the video and go back to the other side of the table and close out the video. All right, so now that you've seen how I have everything set up here, uh, let me know what you think of this solution. Do you think it's uh, worthwhile or would you rather just spend the $35 to $55 for the dedicated solution? Uh, the limitation of the lack of the delay shutoff is not really a big deal to me. I can just leave the table saw running for a few more seconds and then uh, just shut everything off. So I'll leave, like I mentioned, I'll leave that in the description below. It is an affiliate link. So if you do purchase it from that link, I will earn a little bit of commission. So as always, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.